If you've ever wanted to mirror your phone screen to your PC, TV, or another device with zero lag and super easy setup, whether it's for office presentations, business meetings, teaching, or gaming on a big screen, then this video is perfect for you. I'm going to show you a powerful app that lets you wirelessly mirror your screen between phones, PCs, tablets, and smart TVs in real time. So without further ado, let's dive in. Open your browser and search for 1001 TVs. When you open the first link, the official website will load. You can also find the link in the description. This is a screen mirroring app that lets you display one device's screen on another device. For example, you can easily mirror your phone screen to your PC or tablet, or mirror your PC screen to your phone or any other device. You can use it on all devices such as Android, Apple, Windows, Mac OS, and even smart TVs. You can use it in business meetings, enjoy gaming on a bigger display, and watch your memories with your family. There are many more use cases where this app can be useful. The method of using it is very simple. You need to install this app on both of your devices. Make sure both devices are connected to the same Wi-Fi network. Then, you just need to pair your devices, and your screen mirroring will start. How simple is that? Let's set it up. As soon as you click on the download button, it redirects you to the Microsoft Store page for this app. From here, you simply need to download it. It is already installed, so I'll minimize all other windows, you can see that this app has appeared on my desktop. I'll open it. Here you can see a QR code that you can scan to connect your device. Below, there are four options. Mirror phone to PC, mirror phone to PC with cable, mirror PC to TV, and share files with phone. Below that, you can see your device name, network name, and your IP address. Now, let's connect the phone. I have already installed the 1001 TVs app on my phone. I'll open it. Here you can see several options like screen mirroring, screen receiving, file share, browser, streaming, and YouTube. I'll click on screen mirroring and open it. Here you can see that my PC, named Cypher, is already paired because my phone and PC are connected to the same internet. You can also see the device name Cypher on the PC. I'll click on the device name to start mirroring. Now it is showing me options to mirror a single app or the entire screen. Here I'll select share entire screen and click on Share Screen. Now you can see that my phone's screen has been mirrored on my PC. You can see there is no lag. The mirroring is happening in real time from my phone to my PC. On the PC, you can click the Full Screen button to mirror it in full screen mode. You can see my phone is now mirrored in full screen. If I rotate my phone, the PC screen also rotates in full screen mode. The connection is very fast with minimal lag. You don't feel any major delay. Now, if I move this to my portrait monitor, the experience becomes even better. My phone is being mirrored on a much bigger screen, which is three to four times larger. Let's try a game. I have Subway Surfers here, our childhood game. I'll play it and see what kind of experience I get. Okay, the game has started, and it feels like I'm using a touchpad to play the game on my PC. There's no lag here either. If you play a game like PUBG from your phone to a big TV screen, I think the experience will be really amazing. Now I'll bring it back to landscape mode, if you want to give a presentation from your phone, you can do that too. If you are a teacher or mentor, you can use a whiteboard or blackboard app to explain things very clearly. Whatever you draw on your phone will be shown in real time on the big screen, which makes it easier for your students to understand. Now I'll stop this and explore the next feature. I'll click on screen receiver. Here you can see a barcode along with your IP address and port number, which are required for connection. Now on the PC, when I click on the mirror PC to TV option, I get two options. You can scan if you have a webcam, or you can click on Add it manually. Here you can see that most of the information is already filled. I only need to type the last three digits of my IP address, which I'll type here. After that, as soon as I click OK, you can see that an option appears on my phone to connect. I'll click Accept, and that's it. Now you can see that my PC screen is mirrored on my phone. Whatever I do on my PC will now be shown on my phone in real time. I'll play a video here to show you. There is no lag here either, and you can see very smooth playback. Now let's explore the next option, which is very useful. On my PC, I'll click on Share Files. You can see my phone Pixel 6 appearing here. I'll click on it. There are two options, Send and Receive. I'll click on Send, then I'll click on Manually Add Files. From here, I can send anything to my phone. For example, I'll send this wallpaper. Now on my phone, I'll go to Share Files. I'll click on Cipher, and then click on Receive. You can see that the wallpaper has already appeared. I'll open it and show it to you. I'll also open the same file on my PC. You can see that without any waiting, this file has arrived on my phone without using any cable. In the same way, 
You can also use this app to connect phone to phone and take full advantage of it. This app also has a three-day free trial that you can try. If you find it useful, you can buy it. It costs around $20 for a full year. The link is in the description. Definitely try it out. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more useful videos.